To create your new lab report, start by opening a new R Markdown document and do it from template and then just click lab report. At the top of this document, between the dashes, is the header. I'll fill in the name of this lab report with lab intro to data. For name, I'll put my name. And then for the date, I'll put, uh, I'll put today. All right, after that, we see an R chunk that contains the code that loads in the three packages that we used. This code will be run, but won't be included in the final report. Next, we see some text that indicates that this is exercise one, then an empty R chunk. Now let's say the first exercise happened to ask for the code to find the names of the variables in this data set. For that, I'd type names of NYC flights. Let's go ahead and knit it and see how it looks. Uh-oh, we've got an error down here. It says, object NYC flights not found. That's odd because right here in my environment, we can see NYC flights. So what's going on? It turns out that when you knit an R Markdown file, it opens a new blank R session that doesn't get to see the objects you currently have in your environment. That's actually a good thing. That ensures that your analysis is completely self-contained in this one document. To fix it then, we need to be sure to also provide the code that loaded in the dataset into this RMD file. I could put it here in the chunk for exercise one as data NYC flights, uh, but it might make more sense to actually put it in this first chunk just after we load in the data set. So this will load the data set, but hide that step in the final report, which is fine since it's not directly relevant to the exercise responses. Now when you get to exercise two, you'll need to add that yourself. I'll go ahead and type it just as I have it in exercise one. And exercise two, I believe, has an R chunk, so I'll go ahead and insert that by clicking this button at the top of the editor. Very nice. Okay, if you're wondering what those three pound signs mean, that's what turns the word following it into a larger font size. It's one of several text formatting options that you can use in Markdown. If you'd like to learn more about those, you can click on Help, then Markdown Quick Reference.